boxing fans. I'm Smitty. Welcome to In This Corner TV.com. We're at Camp Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather Jr. returns to the ring after 21 months off. He takes on Juan Manuel Marquez. September the 19th at the MGM Grand, we caught up with Floyd as he prepares for this much-anticipated battle against Marquez. Floyd, the first time you were on my uh, television show four years ago, you said that 95% of the battles are won right here in the gym. Uh, this fight, two years off, you're 32 years old. You're taking on arguably the toughest guy of your career. You've had the uh, rib injury and some other distractions. How has this training camp been? Well, we can't say he's the toughest guy of my career. We can't say that yet. We're, we're, I could tell you guys uh, the answer to that after the fight, uh, September 19th. But he, he's a solid. he's a very, very solid guy. And uh, he's Mexico's number one fighter at this particular time. And he's going to put it all on the line. But me, you know, me being a smart, crafty uh, veteran, been around the sport a long time, he's a veteran also. So um, this fight, what you're getting is two veterans. He's been around the sport a long time. And uh, he's, like I said, he's the guy that's not going, going to lay down. And, of course, I'm not going to lay down. So you're going to get uh, blood, sweat, and tears. One of the things you mentioned, too, the last time, when, when you mentioned you wanted to be in a dog fight at some point in your career. Well, no, I've, I've been in dog fights. I've been in a dog fight before. It's just that um, when I'm in a dog fight, I always uh, rise to the occasion because uh, I'm blessed with that type of talent and I'm blessed with those type of skills. Uh, but like I said, I feel good. I feel tremendous. Do you think this comeback, though, Do you think I think your legacy, you've already gone to the Hall of Fame, no doubt about that. You're one of the great fighters. Uh, but I think maybe your legacy could be built off of these last few remaining fights in your career. No, absolutely not. My legacy is already made. Uh, it's just that, um, I mean, I, I, I'm still in the sport because I want to make sure it's all out of my system. And boxing is still in my system. And like I said before, I take my hat off to all the to all the Mexican fighters. Uh, and you know, I'm gonna I represent the American flag. I represent the red, white, and blue. But you know, the Hispanic fighters have came came over to the U.S. and and fought us American fighters and put up and, and, and won a lot of fights and lost a lot of fights. But we had a lot of exciting fights, and that's the main thing is about giving the fans. Uh, their money's worth and putting on exciting fights. What's going to happen in this fight September the 19th? I can't say. That's why this fight is worth buying. If I could tell you what's going to happen, then it won't be worth buying. So that's why I can't tell you what's going to happen. Uh, I don't know what he brings to the table, but I know he's a solid fighter. He's tough. He's hungry. And, you know, with my two years my two years off, I'm feeling I got something to prove. I want to prove that um, I'm still uh, fast, still strong, and uh, I still got the combination. I'm still the best in the sport. All right, boxing fans, make sure you make InThisCornerTV.com your number one site for everything Mayweather and Marquez. And remember, it's wall-to-wall -wall coverage leading up to the fight and beyond with post-fight interviews as well. And be sure to log in to InThisCornerTV.com and vote who's going to win. Mayweather, Marquez, September the 19th at the MGM Grand. Stay tuned, InThisCornerTV.com.